Hi, welcome to my little section on how to use a task dialog. So let's get started. Um, I've showed, showed you guys how to get up to this point in the introduction video, so if you haven't watched that, please do. Alright, we're going to add one more thing to the using namespace, so we'll go ahead and type that using Microsoft dot Windows API code pack dot dialogs. Once you have that, I'm just going to show you how to go. How, I'm going. To, I'm just going to show you how to open up a new task dialog. So to just type in task dialog. TS <coughs> goes to new task dialog. Then we'll just set it to caption. Caption equals to this is the caption. And we'll just put something as its text. This is the text. Right, now we'll go TS dot show to actually show the dialogue. And now if we run this we're gonna get an error. Um I'm not exactly sure why you get this error or why you have to do this, but I'll just show you guys how to get rid of this error. First of all, save your project. Then go back to where you saved your Windows API code pack. Then go into the source folder, go into samples, then go into task dialog demo. And I'm using C Shop, so I'll go into the CS folder, into the task dialog demo folder, then copy over the file called app.mainfest. Just copy that over into your project folder. How you get into this folder if you can't rem remember where you saved it is go to your project in Visual Studio then right click on the project then go open in Windows Explorer then paste the file you just copied. Once you have that file in there go to go to the project then right click on it go add then go existing item We'll change this to all files, then you'll be able to see, you'll be able to see the app dot manifest file. Just double click on that. Then right click on the project, then go to properties, and then under resources, change the manifest to app dot manifest. Then click on save all. Then we want to close out of Visual Studio just so we can open it again <laughs> and open your project that you, you're working on and then close that and when you when you run this you'll see this so this is just a simple task dialog it's fairly boring and in the, in the future tutorials I'll show you guys how to get more out of it alright thanks for watching bye